I have returned to Kerala, a lush and beautiful state on India's southwestern tip. Kerala is also where I was born. But this is no sentimental homecoming. I am on a mission, a mission to stop the brutal torture of these sensitive, intelligent creatures. The city of Trishur is the cultural hub of Kerala and the epicenter of the elephant entertainment industry. This is the dawn of the annual Trishur Puram festival. Thousands of people are arriving from across India and around the world. <laughs> Trishur Puram is by far the biggest festival of its kind. It runs non-stop, day and night for two days. For a blind old bull named Tripaya Ramachandran, it means standing shackled all night in a makeshift temple known as the Pandal. He may be blind, but he's not deaf. Elephants have very sensitive hearing, and research shows that their feet and trunk can feel even the most subtle seismic vibrations. But there's nothing sensitive or subtle about the assault that's unleashed all around him. In the morning, the festival grounds look like a war zone. The temple roof looks like it's been hit with artillery fire. The highlight of the festival is the umbrella ceremony. I can't think of a single Hindu scripture that mentions waving umbrellas while standing on top of an elephant. In fact, all the holy books tell us to treat all creatures with respect and reverence. Elephant society is based on strong families. And just like in human families, the priority is protecting the young. This little baby wanders a bit too far from mom, so his aunt steps up and nudges him back in place. It's an almost human scene that you might see in any playground or park. Wild elephant conservation is an Indian success story. There are 50,000 wild Asian elephants on the planet, and fully 60% of them, 30,000, live in India's jungles. And this is where they belong, wild and free, not shackled and enslaved. Guruji Padmanabhan embodies all of the suffering of captive elephants. As we approached him, I noticed first the colorful decorations that covered his shackles. Then I looked beyond these tawdry ornaments. His hind legs were covered in raw, bleeding wounds. His angry and arrogant owner and his mahout tried to block our camera. I'm filming the parade. They know what they're doing is wrong. This is Ramabhadran, and I noticed he was struggling to eat. It was a sad sight. I learned that his fumbling efforts to feed himself were because his trunk was partially paralyzed. Despite his pathetic condition, they don't even loosen his shackles. So he hobbles and limps along. Just watching him trying to scoop up water from the tank with his lifeless trunk was gut-wrenching. I was told that seven years earlier, 
a careless truck driver had slammed the door on his trunk. Ramabhadran is one of more than 700 captive elephants in Kerala whose welfare is being sacrificed for profit. I'm fighting for him and all the other captive elephants and will continue to give voice to these sentient beings until justice is done or until my last breath.